Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm just going to talk about the four main reasons how you can stay injury or pain free. Before I start I just want to say a couple of things. One, you don't need to be completely symmetrical. I come on this uh, platform all the time and I see different videos of people talking about you know doing certain types of exercises and promoting certain types of workouts where you can be totally symmetrical. You don't need to be symmetrical ever. I also see lots of videos about talking about uh, running form and how to get the right posture and what's the correct running posture. Everybody's shape, size is different, so everybody's running posture, running form is going to be different. Whatever form or whatever technique you have, if it's got you to where you are now, it's probably pretty good for you. Um, your posture is just a collection of um, movements that you do in order for you to get your blood to pump around your body and to get the air in and out of your lungs. That's pretty much what your posture is. It changes, it's so dynamic, it changes day to day, minute to minute, second to second. Don't worry about your posture, your posture is fine. You don't need to release any bit of fascia. You know, I see these again, people coming on with massage guns and foam rollers and all these different types of things. I've been a physical therapist, osteopath working for 20 years. The, the myth of releasing some sort of fascia is just, you know, there's no evidence to back it up. You can't, you, you know, you can spend all day um, trying to use whatever technique you want to release any sort of fascia. Never going to happen. It's totally impossible. The research has shown us for about 20 years now that it doesn't, just doesn't happen. You don't need to be perfectly aligned. One of the common presentations I get in clinic with people who run their in pain is they say they feel their pelvis is out. They come in and they're shifted one way or they're kind of slightly rotated the other way and they say that it feels like it's out or it's offline. Your pelvis doesn't shift out. It doesn't move around. Nothing can kind of click out or click in and nobody can click anything in or click it back out. Again, it's, it's mythological stuff that research has shown um, doesn't have any evidence to say that um, any of that stuff is true. So what are the four things that you can do to try and stay injury free and prolong yourself in the sport? First one and most important one is you need to be consistent with your exercise. So before you start doing any super duper workouts, any mad interval sessions, hill repeats or anything, you need to get some consistency. For you that might be running two days a week, three days a week, five days a week or like me, I try and run seven days a week. Um, Every so often life will throw up a day off from me so I, I don't ever plan a day off, I just run every day if I can. And the second thing you can do and probably in order of importance it probably is number two and that's just to get better sleep. So what, what people talk about having a day off and you know you need to have one day off a week and, and that's fine, having a day off a week is good and I'm not saying don't have a day off but if you're not doing the right things on that day off, you know, promoting your recovery so making sure you're drinking water, making sure you're getting good sleep. Uh, making sure that you're kind of staying off your feet as much as you can. There's no point in having a day off and still burning the candle at the other end, you know. you got to think about it. So for me, I don't try and have a day off, but in between runs, I try and do things that, you know, uh, uh, promote my recovery. So that's just kind of trying to think about eating well, um, try and reduce any stress I can in my life, and trying to do other meaningful things. Um, I like to play a bit of guitar. I'm totally useless at playing guitar. But I mess around because, again, research shows that one of the best things you can do for mental and physical health is to practice a hobby no matter how good or bad you are at that hobby. Meaningful activities is a really important thing that you need to practice. Um, and don't let running or any other life factors get in the way of doing those because if you do, we know from research that that's a big driver towards pain and injury. The third thing you can do that's really important um, to just maintaining physical health is just to move more often throughout the day. If you have a sedentary job where you're sitting at a desk all day, just getting up and moving around, just trying to add some more movement throughout your day in general life is probably one of the most important things you can do in terms of prolonging your personal and mental health. A fourth thing that you can do in terms of um, keeping yourself injury pee free on this one, pain free and prolonging yourself in the sport is just nurturing your mental health. So maybe that for you might be doing something like taking 10 minutes out a day and trying to do some sort of um, meditation or just going for a walk. Or like I said, for me, it's practicing that uh, guitar for maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes, whatever chance I get uh, throughout the day. Um, if you have other ways of dealing with your mental health, some people might need to go and see you know, a, 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 a talk therapist. Um, other people just go and have a chat with a friend. So again, if you're, let's say you're training for a marathon and you're, you know, your whole life has been, you know, based around just trying to get this goal, trying to break this specific time in a marathon, and then you start to let all these other things around your life fall away. So you're not having that interaction with your friends or you're not practicing your guitar or whatever it is you're doing, or you're not going to that dance class you love or whatever. Um, those kind of things will lead to poor mental health and then will lead into a uh, prom promotion of pain. So just getting on top of that sort of stuff and just keeping all that in balance. So they're the four real things that you can do if you want to prolong yourself in life in terms of staying injury free and pain free. And just to recap on those, 
be more consistent with your exercise. Make sure you're getting enough sleep every day. Move more often throughout the day and nurture your mental health by doing meaningful activities. So give those four a shot, have a little think about them. If you have any um, comments, let, let me know below. If there's anything that I missed out or anything that you like to do, I'd love to hear about what meaningful activities you do or what other things you do in terms of life in order to promote your um, health and well-being. Anyway, like I say, guys, make sure you run far, run fast, but most of all, run sensible. <laughs>